Hey guys, it's May May, and welcome to our first Christmas series video. I think I'm going to call this series a Holly Jolly Christmas series. I just think that's cute. Holly Jolly, because I love Christmas. So today I want to show you how to make 16 very cute and very usable tags from one piece of 8.5 by 11 paper. The idea behind this is mass produce, a, get a lot for what you do, and don't have to have a lot of product. Okay, so here we go. You're going to take one piece of, today I'm using craft paper. I suggest craft paper because part of what makes these look so cute is the colors. And I'm going to talk to you about using colors. Now, you don't have to use craft paper. I'll just show you what kind of the tips for what you want to do with color to make these look super cute. So we're going to start with this. Okay, with this piece of paper, you're going to cut on the eight and a half section. You're going to cut every two and one eighth inches. Oops, my finger got in the way. So two and one eighth. Two and one eighth. And two and one eighth. Okay. Now what you're going to do is on this side, you're going to cut every two and three quarters inches. Now it sounds like these are small, but when you see them finished, you'll see how these will work. So two and three quarters. Now you won't need your paper trimmer again. Now the next step is the hardest step, okay? Of the whole thing you're gonna do, this is the hardest part. If you have a cutting mat, it will come in so handy. If, if you have a cutting mat, this is what you'll do. You're gonna place it in this little um, V-shaped section, okay? You're gonna take a ruler, mess my nail up. You're going to take a ruler, in this case I'm using my Tim Holtz, and I'm going to line it up at each end of my cutting mat a quarter of an inch in from this point, okay? That's going to give me a quarter inch triangle roughly, and then I'm just going to cut that away, okay? Then I'm going to flip it over and do exactly the same thing. Put it in that V, take this ruler, using these measurements on the end, move it an inch away from the center, I mean, not an inch, one quarter of an inch away from the center, and slice, okay? And that gives me this cute little tag shape. If you don't have a cutting mat, here's what you're going to do. This ruler is awesome. I'm just going to put this white paper down so you can see this. If you don't have a cutting mat, okay, you're going to use this ruler to help you out. You are going to take two marks, okay, and line them up on the edge of your card. When you do that, that's a quarter of an inch away. And you'll just do this, okay? And you'll do it on the other one, just the same. Just take two of those marks and line them up on the edge of your card out here, like that, and then cut. Now here's the thing about this. This is assuming you have this ruler, <laughs> right? Worst case scenario is you just cut those by hand. Okay, so there's two ways to get your points. Let's say you don't have this ruler and you don't have this board. Here's what you do. So none of my points are going to match. Um, you take a pair of scissors and you put your mark where you kind of think you like it. That's a great spot. Okay, there's my point. I hold this up here, putting it back where I cut it from, making sure that it's square. Then you're going to flip it over and match it up with this corner. Now that you have it flipped over and matched up, put your scissors on it and cut. Now this is trash and you have the perfect tag. Okay? After you've done one, that was the hardest part, getting them started. After that, it's just a matter of copying. And you're just going to copy it on all of them. And you can do it on multiples at one time. If your scissors can hold up. Now then, here's where color comes in. I want to use three colors, okay? To save time, instead of doing a bunch of little elements, I'm gonna use color as my design item. All right, does that make sense? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use red ink. This is Memento Love Letter Red Ink. And I've chosen a stamp from my new stamp set. Let me show you that real quick in case you haven't seen it. It is this one, it's called Santa Stuck. It's a chimney builder and then Santa and then some sentiment. 
Um, and I'll be showing you more about how that works later, but I've chosen the one that says Ho Ho Ho. So here's what you're going to do. This is how we mass produce. Now let's stamp. There's one. Now one thing that makes this really go fast is picking a stamp that does not have a lot of intricacy to it where you have to spend a lot of time inking it. This stamp is just a very simple line image so it, it doesn't take a lot to get ink on it and get it onto the page. So we got 16 of those done and stamped. Now then on to the next part. And now I'm going to bring over some tea dye distress ink. This is something that makes any project look richer. Ink the edges. To me, inking it, laying it down, and spinning it is faster, and you get a better result than picking it up and doing it. Then I just slide it over and it's inked. So I'm just going to ink and span, ink and span. Now then, we've inked the front of 16 tags. On the back, just for continuity, I'm just going to take this and get some dark on the edges. So I'm going to pick this up because I'm not trying to get the shadowy effect. I'm just trying to carry that ink over to the back side as well. I'm going to show you how quick this step is, okay? You really go once, twice to cover, once. You're not having to go over and over them. You're just putting a tiny bit of ink and done, okay? So that is all of the distress inking we're going to do. Now, the next thing I want to go ahead and do is poke my hole. Now, you have lots of options here, okay? You do not have to have one of these guys, although if you do, it's fantastic, and I'll show you how to use that. But let's say you only have this guy. He still works. He's a hole punch, okay? And if you just have your hole punch, you're going to place him in. I always take this off so I can see where the hole's going. You will have more to clean up that way, but at least I can see where my hole's going. If you have a hole punch... Just punch that hole and you've got one, okay? So, even if you only just have this. I'm going to use this guy, and the reason is I can measure, I can line this up where I want it to go and lock this into place so it creates a barrier for the card when I put it in. So, all I have to do is eyeball the center, push it all the way in, and I'm going to get my hole in virtually the same spot every time. The other thing I love about this one is I can do more than one at a time. So, I'm going to pick up about four because it'll do four easy. Put them where I want them. Punch those. So that was four. So I'm just going to pick up a stack. I don't even know how many this is. There we go. Pick up the rest. Now I have a whole stack of 16 tags inked, stamped, and hole punched. Now for the fun part. The thing that will make these tags pop is this white pen. This will take you more time than anything else you've done so far, but this is something you can do sitting in front of a TV show and it's mindless work and it'll be done. So what you have a couple of options and I want to show you those on my other tags, okay? Option number one is straight stitching. I do this with just plain stitching all the way around. Let me lift it up for you. So that's just plain white stitching, okay? Option number two is this look, which is a little gingerbready. That's how that looks to me, okay? Also with this look, and I want to show you ugh, the reason I like it, it goes much faster. Here's how you do it. You put a white dot, let me get my pen going. You put a white dot in each corner. You split the middle, split the middle, 
split the middle, and then line, 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 line. Very mindless. White dot, white dot, split the middle, split the middle, split the middle, line, 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 line. This is so much faster than, I should have split the middle on that one first, but you're going to put your dot here, split the middle, line and line, dot in the middle, we'll just do line and line. Okay, this is so much faster than single stitch lines. On the back, I'm simply going to do it across the bottom. It'll be cute, you're going to be writing back here anyway. If you want to do the whole thing, go ahead. But I think that dresses up the back just fine. So see, let's go. Now all your white pen is done, but I'm going to leave it here because I may need it in a second. Now, the only other thing I wanted to do, and I chose to do this this way, is to stamp a to and from on the back of the card. This little to and from that I'm using is from a close to my heart set and I do not remember what it is. I apologize and I don't have that to on there straight. Ink that again. Okay. So I'm going to stamp to and from on the back. Okay. And I'm going to do that on all of them but one and then I'm going to show you another option. Here's your other option. Your other option is you don't stamp at all, and then the day it's time to give it to somebody, take your white pen and write to and from, and then put their name on it. Or if you're so, so inclined, write it on there while you're doing it. That's too much writing for me. That makes it not fast. But if I wanted to leave it blank and do it the day I give it away, that's perfectly fine. Or the day I put it on a package. All right, we're almost there, guys. We have 16 completed tags. All we need now is baker's twine. I'm going to cut my baker's twine into 7-inch strips. And it's simple. You cut the first one, and you use it for your guide for the rest. Okay, so there's our baker's twine, and now we're just going to, you have two options here. You can fold this in half, okay? You can then feed it through using something to poke it through the hole. When you pull it out, you get a half loop, or you get an actual loop for your finger. Then you push the other two pieces into that loop, both pieces and then pull them through and make like a slip knot, which is super cute, okay? Or you can feed this through the hole, slide it to the center, knot it. Doing it once and then again. For speed, this one's faster. Sixteen. There you go. That's 16 tags from one piece of paper. Isn't that awesome? Fast and easy. I'm going to tell you how long it took to do everything so you'll know from start to finish how long it'll take you to do these. And just for fun, the next person who orders any of my stamp sets from my Etsy site, which the link is in the description bar, I'm going to send all of these tags to. I think I'm going to do that a lot this year, so... Um, be watching because I think that'll be fun. Give you guys a little Christmas gift. So the next person who places an order will receive, the next person from the moment this video goes up will receive these in their package. So uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye.